hey hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is doing great and in today's video i'll be sharing everyone's favorite chicken hakka noodles recipe i'm sure many of you know how to prepare hakka noodles however in today's video i'll share my basic tips and tricks to get those long non-sticky perfect hakka noodles so let's get started with the recipe let's first note down the ingredients for it i have sliced two medium sized onions and i have chopped a carrot into long strips I'm using only carrots here but you can use any vegetable of your choice like capsicum, cabbage, beans and I'm using a slit green chili for little spiciness and next we I have taken some boneless chicken and that too I have cut into long strips and I have taken 2 teaspoons of soya sauce and I have chopped few pots of garlic and some ginger into small pieces and I have used 1 teaspoon of white vinegar. We'll also require some freshly crushed black pepper and of course some salt to taste. We'll first start with boiling the noodles. I have added few drops of oil and some salt to hot boiling water and to it I have added the noodles. We'll cook the noodles till 80% because the rest 20% will be done while frying otherwise the noodles will be overcooked. And I'm sure nobody likes overcooked noodles. And now after draining the water, I will wash the noodles with running water so that the cooking process stops. And after that, I will add few drops of oil and properly spread it throughout the noodles. Do not skip this step, otherwise your noodle will turn out sticky. And now we'll start with the frying process. For it in a karhai, I have added 3 to 4 teaspoons of cooking oil. Once the oil is hot, we'll add our finely chopped ginger garlic. We need to properly fry the ginger garlic in the hot oil for at least a minute so that the flavor of ginger garlic is released in the oil. Next we need to add our chicken. You can even use boiled shredded chicken for this recipe to reduce the cooking time but raw chicken adds more flavor to the noodles. Now we need to properly fry the chicken in the oil for at least 2-3 to three minutes so that the chicken is properly cooked. Once the chicken turns slightly light brown, we'll add our sliced onions. Please do note that we have to do everything on high flame. On high flame, food cooks first, keeping intact the flavors. And that's why Chinese cooking is so popular, isn't it? Next we'll add our carrots and again we'll fry it for at least half minute on high flame. Next we need to add salt as far as your taste. And in the next step I have added soy sauce and vinegar. And to neutralize the sour taste of vinegar I have added a little sugar. Sugar will enhance the taste of the noodles too. Finally, I'll add the noodles and give everything a good mix. You can use a fork and a spoon with the help of which you can properly mix everything together without breaking the noodles. And finally, our chicken hakka noodles is ready. And now it's time to serve our noodles. I have come up with today's simple recipe on request from one of my very close friends. I hope it will be helpful for you Maria. And here we come to the end of our video. I hope my simple tips and tricks to get perfect long non-sticky hakka noodle will be useful for you all. And if you liked my today's video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And I would also request all my foodie friends to subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free and also hit the bell icon for regular food updates. Thank you so much for watching my video till the end. Take care and stay connected.